Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at collocations. Yes, like take care, or quite agree, or badly damage, do a report, take a shower, do homework, get angry, and keep a secret. So first question, what is a collocation? It is a sequence of words that go together more often than would be expected by chance. In other words, two or more words that often go together. Like watch TV, listen to music. These combinations just sound right to native English speakers who use them all the time. On the other hand, other combinations may be unnatural and just sound wrong. So let's take a look at natural and unnatural. What does it mean? Well, we have natural English and natural, unnatural English. So the fast train, we say, that's natural. If you said the quick train, that's unnatural and that's wrong. Fast food, not quick food. Or a quick shower, not a fast shower. A quick meal, not a fast meal. So patterns. There are seven different patterns of collocations. So the number one, adverb plus adjective. Number two, adjective plus noun. Number three, noun plus noun. Number four, noun plus verb. Number five, verb plus noun. Number six, verb plus expression with preposition. And number seven, adverb plus verb. So let's take a look at them more closely. So the first one, adverb plus adjective. Yes, we say completely satisfied, not downright satisfied. Even though downright is a synonym of completely, we just say completely satisfied. We cannot say downright satisfied. It doesn't sound natural. Another example, we entered a richly decorated room. Richly is the adverb, decorated is the adjective. They were happily married for two years. Again, happily is the adverb, married is the adjective. Let's take a look at the other group. Adjective plus noun. The doctor ordered him to take regular exercise. So regular is the adjective and the noun is exercise. The Titanic sank on its maiden voyage. Maiden is the adjective, voyage is the noun. The key issue here is that we're wasting time. Key is the adjective and the noun is issue. Wasting time is also a collocation here. Next group, noun plus noun. Let's give Mr. Jones a round of applause. The ceasefire agreement came into effect at 11 a.m. I'd like to buy two bars of soap, please. So, bars of soap. Noun plus verb. She startled when she heard the dog barking. Rain was falling as the plane took off. The hen laid some eggs last week. So the orange, they are the nouns, and the brown are verbs. To cough here is also a phrasal verb. Verb plus noun. He had intended to take a holiday in Canada. So take a holiday. He always tries to do his homework in the morning. To do your homework. He needs to get a job soon. Get a job. And verb plus expression with preposition. We had to return home because we had run out of money. Run out is a phrasal verb, a verb, and then of money is the expression here with a preposition. At first, her eyes filled with horror, and then she burst into tears. 
So filled is the verb. With horror is the expression. Burst is the verb. And into tears is the expression. Their behavior was enough to drive anybody to crime. So drive is the verb and to crime is the expression with preposition. Now, adverb plus verb. This is the last one. The teacher fully understood why the student was late. The hurricane badly damaged the whole area. I vaguely remembered that it was growing dark when we left. So now let's do some exercise. Write down the missing words. So number one, I will give you the clue, a clue, so in this case it's a verb. Number two, this is an adverb. Number three is a verb. Number four is a verb. Number five is a verb. And number six is a noun. So pause the video for five minutes and then let's check. Now that you have your answers ready, let's check. When he wakes up, he takes or has a shower. Number two, I never knew Mary was married, so never knew. Number three, keep calm and study English. <laughs> Number four, when they have time, they go online to play. Number five, you don't need to say sorry. I understand. Number six, taking drugs is really bad for your health. So these are some groups of collocations with the verb make. Make a difference, make a mistake, make an effort, make money, make room, make a mess, make a noise, make furniture, make progress and make trouble. Now, let's take a look at collocations with do. Do business, do someone a favor, do the housework, do the washing up, do your hair, do nothing, do the cooking, do the shopping, do your best, and do your homework. Finally, collocations with have. Have a bath, have a good time, have a holiday, have a relationship, have lunch, have a drink, have a haircut, have a problem, have a rest, and have sympathy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have some questions about collocations, please type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the video, hit on the like button. Um, and if you want, you may share the lesson. Until next time. Take care. Bye-bye.